Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Virgo for October of 2011. And this also applies if you have a Virgo ascendant. So my Virgos, there's going to be some inner work to be done this month. There's certainly a big focus on your finances, learning, studying and your relationships, of course, once more. Let's start out with this Mars still in your 12th house all month. There may be some frustrations. You're feeling as though you can't get your emotions out, your feelings out. Um, this will be a wonderful time for going inwards, for looking inside yourself, and also a great time for volunteering, for helping others, for taking the focus away from yourself and putting it onto other people. And then you'll forget about your own problems and your own issues when you see what some other people are actually going through. But it's certainly a good time to uh, take a little bit of time out, energy-wise, and think about situations that are bothering you in one way or another, or that you're angry about, and try and get the anger out of your system. So if you're frustrated or you're angry, try to get it out in one way or another. Whatever it, however you do it, you'll do it in your own personal way. You might go for a run, a walk, you might listen to music, whatever it is, Get it out of your system. That's very important for you and your physical and mental health. Got a lot going on this month in your second house. Um, I think there's going to be some good things coming to you. Second house is money and finance. We've got Venus there for the first eight days of the month. So something nice financially coming in. Could be just a present. Somebody giving you a present. You buying yourself something nice. Um, we've got Saturn in that house as well. So the middle of the month Saturn is conjunct the sun there. So you may take on some more financial responsibilities. You may feel as though you've got more duties to be doing financially. But nonetheless, the sun is in that house as well until the 22nd of the month. And so um, you may find yourself shopping. There's going to be a big urge to go off shopping and buy things. But it's also a good time for any kind of business negotiations. Anything you want to do in business and negotiate a good deal or a bargain. We've got Mercury there. Mercury always finds a bargain. And you've got Mercury there this month as well. So make the most of that. I think those are good aspects for you financially. Um, for the latter part of the month, much going on in the third house, which is the house of socialising, being with people. I think there's going to be some new people coming into your life this month, especially with Mercury there. And um, also you're going to have, there can be a certain restlessness to you. <laughs> Virgos, you already are restless, but it's going to be more so the latter part of the month with Mercury in that third house. You're going to want to travel. You're going to want to get away in some way. Uh, best way to do that is to study to learn something new, to put your mind to use. You love mental energy, so um, maybe join a debate, a discussion, do something with books, with libraries, with learning, with teaching, with sharing information. Could of course be anything involving something online and marketing and, and negotiating. But this is the month for it. This is the month for meeting somebody nice and trying to relax a little more. Try to make yourself relax and take out that, that time so that you can recharge your batteries because you are going to be very busy this month. This is a busy, busy month. Um, at the end of the month, we've got Jupiter opposite the Sun, third, ninth houses. So this could bring a very interesting teacher or mentor into your life or a new passion that you want to study, that you want to learn about in more depth. Go for it. This will be the month to start it and to really go for it and to be inspired by somebody who can encourage you through it. Um, we, you may have a very deep experience in a relationship with the Pluto trying to Jupiter in the ninth. You may meet somebody from abroad and have a very deep spiritual awakening through somebody else. So there you have it, my dear Virgos. I wish you a great month and try to stay calm and relaxed through all of the activities that you're going to be doing. Thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.